Well, hello there. Today we're going to watch a classic TV series called The High Chaparral, a show that I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with. The High Chaparral is known far and wide as one of the best TV series to ever hit the air. So today, we're going to reminisce and watch the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. We will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors from the show and how they've changed in 2023. Okay, let's check it out together. Leif Erikson was born on October 27, 1911 in Alameda, California. He played the character Big John Cannon in the series when he was 56 years old in 1967. Sadly, on January 29, 1986, Erickson died of cancer in Pensacola, Florida at the age of 74. Isn't this just like the first Thanksgiving? Yes. Yes, it is. We have so much to be thankful for. Were hard bitten martinets. Had they not been, there wouldn't be any West. They were not concerned with being light or being lionized. Cameron Mitchell was born on November 7, 1918, in Dallas Town, Pennsylvania. He played the character Buck Cannon in the series when he was 49 years old in 1967. Sadly, on July 6, 1994, Mitchell died of lung cancer in P Pacific Palisades, California, at the age of 75. Glad you saved me a bump. Wouldn't you give me one with a mattress? Oh, I saved that one myself. <laughs> well, it's nice, are you, Joe? It's flies. Thank it was you, a John Wayne film with Robert Montgomery. They were expendable by W.L. White, which was a story of the PT boats that took MacArthur Avenue. Henry Darrow was born on September 15, 1933, in New York City. He played the character Manolito Montoya in the series when he was 34 years old in 1967. On March 14, 2021, Darrow died of natural causes in Wilmington, North Carolina, at the age of 87. Five of those uh, aparatos over there with five shots. I already done that, Manolito. No, 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 you did it with your rifle. I will do it with my pistola. Colonel Roberts, for some reason, Linda Crystal was born on February 23, 1931, in Rosario, Santa Fe, Argentina. She played the character Victoria Cannon in the series when she was 36 years old in 1967. On June 27, 2020, Crystal died of natural causes at her home in Beverly Hills, California, at the age of 89. I brought you something else. It's a book of poetry. You might find something you like in it. I don't have much time for reading. Mark Slade was born on May 1st, 1939 in Salem, Massachusetts. He played the character Billy Blue Cannon in the series when he was 28 years old in 1967. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 84. Respect him. Ma'am, you can never be my mother, never. Never is like all of And uh, can you tell us a little bit, with, uh, without giving too much of the plot away, how Billy Blue becomes yeah. a man? Uh, he... Don Collier was born on October 17, 1928, in Santa Monica, California. He played the character Sam Butler in the series when he was 39 years old in 1967. Sadly, on September 13, 2021, Collier died from lung cancer in Harrodsburg, Kentucky, at the age of 92. We had a lot of the old actors that I, I was a teenager during the 40s and 50s, and I'd seen a lot of these old actors. Bob Hoy was born on April 3, 1927, in New York. He played the character Joe Butler in the series when he was 40 years old in 1967. Sadly, on February 8, 2010, Hoy died of cancer in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 82. I think we better stay right here and round up the strays like your pa ordered. Ain't you scared of Apaches, Joe? Oh, yeah. But I'm more scared of your pa. Besides, we ain't seen no Apaches. 
Roberto Contreras was born on December 12, 1928 in St. Louis, Missouri. He played the character Pedro in the series when he was 39 years old in 1967. On July 18, 2000, Contreras died of natural causes in Los Angeles, California at the age of 71. If you look at me, you can tell that I'm not exactly pale face. All who ride with pale faces belong to pale face tribe. Yes, like you said, but I was not trying to... Ted Markland was born on January 15, 1933 in the USA. He played the character Reno in the series when he was 34 years old in 1967. On December 18, 2011, Markland died of natural causes in Yucca Valley, California, at the age of 78. Uh, Mary's an Indian girl, and one of the Indian braves is jealous, so he attacks the ranch. This is right near the end of the show in this, in this particular scene. Rodolfo Acosta was born on July 29, 1920, in Chamazal, Texas. He played the character Vaquero in the series when he was 47 years old in 1967. Sadly, on November 7, 1974, Acosta died of liver cancer at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Woodland Hills, California, at the age of 54. Jerry Summers was born on February 3, 1931 in the USA. He played the character Ira in the series when he was 36 years old in 1967. On January 1, 2006, Summers died of natural causes in Arroyo Grande, California, at the age of 74. Double fill in for you in the, the fights, falls, riding scenes. Uh, actually, everybody else on this show is double, except for Robert. Frank Silvera was born on July 24, 1914, in Kingston, Jamaica. He played the character Don Sebastian Montoya in the series when he was 53 years old in 1967. Sadly, on June 11, 1970, Silvera died after accidentally electrocuting himself while repairing a garbage disposal unit in his kitchen sink in Pasadena, California at the age of 55. Rudy Ramos was born on September 19, 1950 in Lawton, Oklahoma. He played the character Wind in the series when he was 20 years old in 1970. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 72. Well, sir, I guess that proves we can both hit rocks in the air. Not much else, though, does it? Of course, uh, kicked me in the face, and it, it I had uh, five surgeries to rebuild this orbital, so I couldn't work for five years. Yeah. Before we wrap up this journey through the world of the High Chaparral TV series, I want to hear from you. Who's your favorite character from the series? What's this thing that they have that it's so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane.